Hey, my guy, so how's it going? You doing okay? It's good, it's good to see you again. See you so, too. look like you got a full renovated job here. Tell me more about this project. Like, what, tell, tell me, how did you get into it? Like, what brought you to it? How much work you had to do to it? And what, how do you feel about the work that was done on the home? Well, um, you know, this area of Orange Valley is kind of coming up now. So, yeah. it was originally a duplex. Um, we turned it into a three bedroom, two bath. And uh, we did a full extensive rehab, new roof, new plumbing, a whole nine yards. And, um, you know, a lot of the homes are, are selling for a premium around the area, so we're, we're trying to, you know, get this, okay. get, uh, flip it. So it looks as if you went in and redid everything. So how far did you go down and go down to the studs? What about the electrical? Yeah, sheetrock, um, pretty much the whole nine yards, electrical, so, plumbing. So what kind of condition was it in before you guys started on it? It was a pretty poor condition, you know. We, we, we really went in from the studs and yeah. rebuilt it. Yeah, yeah. So as an investor, which strategy is the primary one that you use in terms of you know flipping about whole like what is, what's, what's your ideal strategy? Well, um, I like to have a combination of both. You know, there's properties that I tend to hold on to and rent, and mm -hmm. there's also properties that I want to get in and get out. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I kind of you know, have both strategies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I know in the past we've done some business together, and at the time the strategy was you know buy them, fix them up, place a tenant, and then move on to the next one. What's your plans for this one? Yes, um, on this one, I, we want to utilize the same strategy. We already rented it out um, at thirteen fifty a month, and now we're going to try to test the market and list it at, with the tenant living inside. What makes that particular strategy attractive to you versus just selling it without anybody living in it? I think I think it opens up the pool uh, as far as potential buyers, um, as far as investment companies that are uh, definitely buying a lot of properties here in Memphis, and they're looking at the cash flow. Correct. So. Um, with that being said, I think that's a very uh, lucrative technique. Okay, great. great. Yeah, and it's worked in the past. I yeah, mean, you've done, it, you've done it quite a bit of time. We've worked together on a lot of that. So with that being said, what's, what's your on the horizon? So how has the pandemic affected your ability to acquire, sell, you know, right. whatever? That's a good question. Um, it's definitely been harder. There's been less inventory. So I basically have to be more crafty on how I come across buying and at what price point I buy it and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Okay, okay. So what about the material cost and stuff? How does that affect you? It's definitely affected me. You know? <laughs> it's gone up tremendously. So we kind of have to factor that in, you know. Yeah. We're, we're trying to flip the property, we're trying to factor that in and see, you know, what we can get out of the property and so not try to go over budget. Gotcha. Yeah, and that, that makes sense. So what, what, what's your projection for the next four or five months of 2021 heading to 2022, what you have on your agenda? Like, what should, like how has the pandemic so far shifted your approach going forward and what do you expect to you know, have on, the, on having the plate within the next, within the next six months? Well, I definitely don't want to stay on the sideline on a lot of investors because of the pandemic. They, they don't want to take the risk right now, but um, I'm the type of investor that I want to stay in the game and um, we're just going to see you know, how, how the market shapes up and we're going to go from there. Hopefully we can continue to do many more flips. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. So what we'll do is that, so um, I know you said you did a full renovation, so yeah. how did you choose like the paint color? The kitchen looks really, really nice. So, um, so tell me more about what the Well, you know, obviously as an investor, you, you're trying to um, use paint colors that are kind of neutral. It's going to be and, the Yeah, I mean, obviously I, I, I like them as well, um, but I think you're always trying to paint in, in colors that are kind of neutral based and uh, you know modern and sleek. Okay, okay, sounds good. Well, listen, thanks for um, um, right now giving us a tour of the home, and um, I look forward to working with you, you on this particular project, and um, see seeing you in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.